Welcome, beautiful soul. Thank you so much for joining me. Just make sure you're sitting preferably with your feet flat on the floor. Make sure your spine is straight, but not rigid. So we're not slouching. This allows your energy to flow more freely. And if you have headphones, you can pop them in so you can block out any other distractions. If not, just simply set the intention to be focused on yourself, on the sound of my voice, without letting any other external influences cause you to feel frustrated or annoyed. And just for the next 10 minutes, dedicate this time purely to yourself. Being aware of the space around you, wherever you are right now. And if you haven't already, allow your eyes to close. And with your eyes still closed, just turn your eyes upwards as if you're looking at the space between and behind your eyebrows. you're focusing on your third eye point and this also helps to activate the pineal gland and just take a moment to completely be aware of your body of being in your body so noticing the weight of your body as you rest down into your chair. Be aware of the contact between your body and your chair. Be aware of the contact between your feet and the floor. As you focus on your feet, just lift your toes, spread them out a little bit, and then place them back down again. And imagine all the little bones in your feet and toes releasing, the soles of your feet broadening and softening. Just moving your awareness up into your lower legs, your calf muscles. And on your next in breath, tense your calf muscles, all the muscles around your shin bones. Tense them as tightly as you can. Just hold for a few seconds. Then as you exhale, release slowly. Just feel any tension dissolving. Moving your attention up to your thighs. Visualize the thigh bone from your knee joint all the way to your hip socket. And on an in-breath, tense all the muscles around that thigh bone. Squeeze as tightly as you can. Hold the tension. Hold the breath. And exhaling and releasing slowly. Again, feel any tension just dissolving from the tops of your legs.
Focusing on your next in-breath, you're going to squeeze your buttock muscles as tightly as you can. Squeeze, hold it. And as you exhale, release slowly. Just feel your sit bones melt down into your chair. And just shift your awareness to your hands. And just gently wiggle your fingers. Just wiggle your fingers and thumbs. And relax them and imagine relaxing all the little bones in your hands and fingers. You may start to feel heat in the palms of your hands. You may start to feel tingling sensation as you become aware of the energy flowing around your body. Focusing on the rest of your arms from your wrists all the way up to your shoulders. And on your next inhale, tense all the muscles in your arms, shrug the shoulders as tightly as you can. Hold for a few seconds, squeezing as tightly as you can. And exhaling and gently releasing and feel your shoulders fall away from your ears. And taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, feel your rib cage expand, feel your belly expand. And hold the breath in for as long as you can, just focusing on that sense of fullness, of expansion. And when you need to breathe out, breathe out through the mouth like a deep sigh. And keep breathing out as long as you can. And visualize getting all the air out of your lungs. Again, breathing in, feel your belly expand, rib cage expand, your chest lift, holding the breath in. And your ego may start to get a little anxious when you're holding the breath in, and that's perfectly normal when you first start. Just remind yourself there's plenty of oxygen in your body and in the room. And when you need to breathe out, Sigh it out. And just feel your body relaxing a little bit more with each exhale. And just one more breath like that. Breathing in as deeply as you can through your nose. With that sense of expansion of your heart center expanding. Holding the breath. Letting it go. <sighs> and you do a very simple breathing exercise that helps to activate and balance both sides of our brain. But first of all, I want you to imagine you can see the night sky. And imagine that you're outside on a clear night and you can see the moon, the full moon shining down from above and it's so clear and so bright that the moonlight actually illuminates the space around you. Just let your imagination fill in the blanks. There's no right or wrong. Just simply visualize yourself standing underneath the 
full bright moon on the clearest of nights. And when we do this simple breathing exercise, I want you to imagine, visualize that you're breathing in moon light, breathing in moon beams. You can even imagine breathing in pure, brilliant white light energy. And what we're going to do, we're just going to breathe in through the left nostril. And that is our lunar side, activates our lunar energy. The left nostril activates the right side of our brain and vice versa. And sometimes it may feel like one nostril is filled with cotton wool, but that will clear after a while. So all you're going to do is take your right thumb and just gently block your right nostril. So you're just breathing in and out of your left nostril. You're still going to breathe as deeply as you can. So as you inhale through the left nostril, relax your belly, feel your belly expand, rib cage expand, chest rise. Again, pause at the top of the inhale, holding for a few seconds. And as you breathe out, still just breathing through the left nostril, and keep breathing out, feel your rib cage, relax, keep breathing out till you feel your belly button draw in towards your spine. At the end of the exhale, just pause for a few seconds before you take the next breath in. So we're going to continue with that breath for the next minute. Just breathing in and out through your left nostril. And as you breathe, imagine breathing in moon beams, moon light, moon energy. You can visualize pure, brilliant white light energy flowing up through your left nostril, going down the back of your throat down into your lungs. And you can start to visualize your lungs filled with moonlight, filled with pure, brilliant, white light energy. You're still breathing in and out as deeply as you can, just through the left nostril. See if you can pause for a second longer each time, just meditating on that sense of fullness, expansion. And at the end of the exhale, meditating on that sense of release of emptiness. If we want to bring something new into our life, whether that's more money, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a different job, whatever it is, we need to actually let go of something else. It's a bit like having a cup. You can keep pouring into it and it will just end up overflowing. In order to take in more liquid, we need to tip some out. And yet so often we cling to possessions, to people, to relationships, to jobs, to habits, to behaviors. And we're so afraid to let go. And so holding the breath out, it kind of teaches us that we're safe to let go. We're safe to empty ourselves for a while because then we're going to fill ourselves up again. So still breathing in and out just through your left nostril, breathing in moonlight, 
as you hold the breath in, visualize your lungs, your whole chest cavity filled with moon light, filled with pure, brilliant white light energy. And as you breathe out, imagine letting go of anything that no longer serves you, anything that no longer aligns with you. You know, we're here to constantly change, to grow, to learn, to evolve. And that sometimes means outgrowing people, places, things, and that's okay. Because when we let go of those things, they'll go to someone else who needs them. But too often we cling to unhealthy relationships or we'll stay in a job out of fear. Imagine what it would be like to attract what you really desire in life. But in order to attract that, you need to let go of what's currently in the way. So as you're breathing in and out through your left nostril, maybe consider what it is that you need to let go of. What no longer serves you? What no longer feels in alignment with you? And maybe ask yourself what steps you need to take in order to manifest your dreams and your desires. And if you have no dreams or desires, then you're merely surviving. You're not thriving. And just take one more deep breath in through your left nostril. Hold the breath for as long as you can feeling that sense of fullness, of expansion, of lightness. And then exhaling all the way out. Keep exhaling until you feel your belly button pull in. Again, pause with the breath held out, just observing that sense of letting go. Observing that sense of emptiness. When you need to, release your right thumb and take a nice deep breath in through both nostrils. And exhale through the mouth. Just take a moment once more just to notice how it feels being in your body. Noticing sensations in your body. And just experiencing your experience, knowing there's no rights or wrongs. So you're observing with no judgment, no criticism, and no expectations.
taking one nice deep breath in as deep as you can again sigh it out and just shake out your arms a little bit shake out your arms as if you're shaking off any negative low vibration thoughts feelings or emotions give your arms a good shake shake them out really as vigorously as you can shake it shake it shake it and stretch your arms above your head stretch out and release and when you're ready just gently blinking your eyes open becoming aware of the space around you once more And just repeat after me the following affirmation. I am always divinely guided, supported and loved. I am always divinely guided, supported, and loved. I am always divinely guided, supported, and loved. And so it is. Love and light to you, my friend.